map 2,466 trail heads representing over 38,000 kilometers of trail and 10,000 trail segments across the province. Speaker, we also funded a variety of local and regional trail projects, improve accessibility for people with disabilities, and develop an award-winning central website for trails. Speaker, Answer. since 2009, the province has invested more than 77 million to support Ontario's trails, and we are seeing tremendous results. Thank you, Speaker. Question, the member from Cambridge. Hey, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Yeah. My question is for the Minister of Education. An audit at the Toronto District School Board released yesterday was a crystal clear demonstration that your so-called wage freeze isn't a wage freeze at all. Our leader Tim Hudak has stood in this legislature day in and day out and asked for an across the board public sector wage freeze. The idea was dismissed because your government was adamant that it already had one. When board members without approval decide to give themselves a salary increase, that's not a wage freeze. In fact, TDSB officials told auditors other school boards have also ignored the order to freeze pay. This is the problem, Minister. When, you, when your wage freeze isn't a real wage freeze, no one takes you seriously and everyone feels entitled to grab whatever they want. But it's not too late. Will you adopt the Ontario PC plan to adopt an across-the-board public sector wage freeze to rein in spending and stop the foolishness at the TDSB? Minister of Education. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, obviously, uh, the uh, report from Ernst & Young, which was released yesterday, did raise a number of areas of concern. I think it's important to recognize that uh, the new director and the audit committee from TDSB are the people who asked for the forensic audit and that they have uh, responded that they will, in fact, work with us to, plan, uh, to make sure that all of the recommendations are addressed. But what I must point out in this particular case is that my ministry officials uh, did tell any school board that checked in with the ministry and made it very clear that the public, yes, broader public sector compensation act did apply to the senior administration. So it was very clear to everybody involved that the act Thank you. Minister, it's clear you buried the report on the same day as the Auditor General's report in an attempt to pull the wool over the eyes of the media and Ontario taxpayers. On its own, the rules don't apply to me attitude at the TDSB is bad enough. But this is a culture of entitlement, and you have refused to do anything about it. This is the same TDSB where workers build $143 to screw in a pencil sharpener, where workers build $266 for seven hours of work to hang three pictures on a wall. It's no wonder that the audit found that 79% of the transactions in the director's office did not use a competitive bidding process. Monitoring the situation is no longer enough, Minister. Ontarians expect act? action. Will you show some leadership and make these board members pay back the salary increases they should never yeah, yeah. have had in the first place? Will taxpayers get their Christmas refund, Minister? Yeah, yeah. You see it, please? You see it, please? Thank you, Minister of Education. Thank you very much. And could we just please sort out here what we're talking about? We are not sort talking about board members whose salary was not in compliance. We are talking about the members of the senior executive whose salaries are not in compliance. Now that is very, very serious, Speaker. And I, I will demand, have demanded, that the board will come into compliance with the broader public sector compensation act. They will come into full com compliance, as will any other board. Uh, in fact, I have, uh, we do a number of uh, spot audits on school boards throughout the province every year, and I have asked my officials to add uh, an Answer. audit of senior executive compensation to the boards that they are doing a spot audit on currently. Thank you. New question? Hamilton Mountain. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Speaker, yesterday's Auditor General's report provided us with the facts and figures to back up what families have been telling us for some time, that lengthy, lengthy delays for diagnosis and treatment 